Today we're going to be doing a guitar lesson for Smells Like Teen Spirit by Kurt Cobain and his Nirvanas. A uh, little bit of information about the song. It, it, it was first released in 1967 on uh, their debut record, Changes. Um, it was actually a remix of an old Norwegian death chant from the 1300s. A uh, little known fact. Um, you know, you'll, you'll hear the song around every day in all the car commercials and all the malls. Um, so yeah, uh, it it starts out with a pretty simple uh, power chord bass riff. Oh, I almost forgot. You got to make sure that your guitar is 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 on its uh, uh, treble setting so that you have that 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 good grungy tone. So after that, uh, you have to turn on uh, the distortion for the for the second part of the intro, and uh, that part you just... <laughs> and uh, the, the way that you know how long to play that note for is um, if it were a car traveling at uh, 7 feet per second, uh, that would have traveled across 7... 17 hectares of land. So you really got to memorize that that timing. So you've uh, you've learned the intro, right? And you might notice that riff repeats itself throughout the entire song. Uh, but during the verses, he does this little... Let me tell you, that's wrong. He didn't write the song correctly, right? Uh, you know, when I made this this channel, um, it was it was because I remember whenever I was I was, I was a little baby in my father's womb that uh, I was I was beginning my guitar journey and people were posting all these incorrect tabs and 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 they knew that they were wrong. Uh, and th the thing that disgusts me about those people is they're just they're skewing you on your on your guitar journey. They're 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 making you go off path and. And they know it, and they find it funny. Um, you know, I always just found it disgusting how how somebody can take advantage of another one without second thought, basically. So, so that's why that's why I'm here. Um, anyways, back to the back to the verse riff. So the correct way to do it is you just got to go to your fifth fret on your G string and just, and then. I'm not gonna tell you what fret that it is because you you know you have to. Everybody knows that uh, to play to, to play a string instrument you, you gotta know how to how to learn by ear. So and then the bass goes da na 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 na. So just imagine those two things looped up, looped on top of each other, right? So then it does that uh, something like eighteen times. So, you know, uh, that'll happen. And then it goes back. It goes back to the intro riff.